longest mail run in the world. Scott Warrington is our pilot. He flies this route every week. Two and a half thousand lonely and barren kilometres across the dusty red heart of Australia. There's, there's no visual references, as you can see. It's just flat and barren all the way around. Everywhere looks the same. Scott looks after families on remote stations along an old stock route called the Birdsville Track. But if you think the outback is isolated, with just one mail drop a week, imagine how it was for the first settlers in Sydney Cove more than 200 years ago. Flags up, look! A ship, a ship! Two and a half years after the first fleet sailed into Botany Bay, Britain's new colony received its first mail from home. The letters were at least as welcome as the women on board the Lady Juliana, nicknamed the Floating Brothel. The Lady Juliana carried three precious cargo. Firstly, there's flour to feed the starving, famine-ridden colony. And secondly, there's women, 222 women, because the governor has written back to say that there needs to be a softening, civilising influence. And finally, there's mail. The weather was foul on that cold winter's day. 31-year-old Marine officer Watkin Tench, the son of a dancing instructor from Cheshire, was on the first boat to reach the Juliana. Letters! 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 Letters, Letters was the cry. They were produced and torn open in trembling agitation. News burst upon us like meridian splendor on a blind man. We were overwhelmed with it. And what news there was. George Washington had become the first president of the United States. Fletcher Christian had led a mutiny on the bounty against Captain Bly. And the French Revolution had been ignited by the storming of the Bastille in Paris. With the arrival of the Juliana, it was now possible to send mail back the other way. In fact, this is one of the earliest letters to survive. Written by a 15-year-old girl the day after she sailed into Botany Bay. My dear aunt, we arrived here on the 7th and I hope it will answer better than we expected, for I write this on board a ship, but it looks a pleasant place enough. We shall but have four pair of trousers to make a week and we shall have... They tell me I'm for life, but I will make myself as happy as I can in my present and unhappy situation. Mary Haydock must have been quite a character. Just 12 months earlier, dressed up as a boy, she'd been caught stealing a horse and given a seven-year sentence. I desire you will answer me by some ship that is coming and let me know how the children is and all inquiring friends. So, I must conclude because we are in a hurry to go ashore. From your undutiful niece, Mary Haydock. 